All right, welcome to another painting tutorial, and this one we're going to look at the how to paint battlescape. So this is the piece of scenery for 40k. It's got a wrecked rhino here, some craters, the, and uh, some old uh, trees with some weird um, eyes and chaos twisted sort of stuff. So the uh, here's another slightly different angle. Um, basically, it's you know, piece of area terrain that you can use for a difficult or dangerous terrain. Maybe you can hide out some guys in here. Um, I painted this up rusty looking, but uh, obviously you can add whatever Space Marine colors you think are appropriate. Uh, maybe your opponent's uh, Space Marine chapter or something like that. So here's the basic paints that I used. Um, this is for the, uh, the the gray, rocky crater type things. Some of the the dirt there. Um, these are the trees. Uh, there's a couple skulls here and there. Some uh, other greenish stuff and uh, some of the rust. So uh, yeah, so the gray bits there, you'll see the order I painted this in a minute. I'll walk you through all that. But basically that's uh, where we're going with that. Dirt, so all around the gray before I put the static grass on it. And the tree stumps, so that's these guys and it's kind of dry brushing these different layers on. Um, and then some little mud uh, Actually, you know what? That's sorry. That's wrong. There. That's the. Uh, this is the the rust here on this thing. So I did these kind of a stippling with the orange being the main rusty kind of color. Um, I kind of want to go back and paint it maybe an ultramarine rhino or something like that. Make some paint chips. Leave lots of this exposed, but have some basic colors on it. And uh, yeah. So here we go. So I started off with black spray paint, and I put my base color of grays on all of the exposed rocky bits. So I uh, did that real quick. You can see there, nothing too fancy with it. Nice dark gray. Um, then after that I went over everything with my base of browns and kind of filled it in. Didn't have to worry too much about getting on the grays because even if some dirt's on the, the rock, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then just dry brushing up those browns there. And uh, there's not going to be a lot of stages to show. I'm going to be painting up these uh, trees and that and then we're basically done. So there's an idea <clears throat> of some of the base colors on the uh, the rhino and as I dry brush and stipple it up I'm just trying to avoid some of the deep areas just to give it a bit more idea of texture and depth and um, there we go working up that sort of medium colors and uh, yeah getting the, the stumps done there you can see the dry brushing on the this gray stuff here, and uh, yeah, basically done. See some of the detail, and then what I did is I went over everything with a watered down glue. Not everything, sorry, just the some of the main areas of the brown, and uh, put on the static grass, so that's the same as my Realm of Battle board, and uh, brushed some of that off so it would look similar, and basically it blends in with the rest of the scenery. So I just look at a couple different angles of this thing. Kind of a neat piece of scenery. Um, not sure that I really like these trees. They're kind of two-dimensional-ish, but the rest of the, the piece is pretty cool. I really like the, the the rhino piece. I think that's really the main thing about this. <clears throat> so make sure you check out my blog and uh, any other videos I have on here. And uh, yeah, leave some comments and let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.